And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone. Since it's a quiet Sunday afternoon here in Southern Colorado, let's jump ahead to the elephant in the room, the Halloween forecast. Parents at home, kids, hopefully you're paying attention this year. Again, no tricks, but all treats for Mother Nature. Sunshine above average highs, dry conditions will be near freezing in the morning. Afternoon temperatures for the kiddos that dress up at school will be nice and pleasant. Won't even need an extra layer for that costume this year, as we'll be up near 70 in Pueblo and the mid 60s in the springs. Now it hasn't always been this nice. Let's look at some climatology over the past couple of decades here in Southern Colorado. The hottest Halloween day on record dates back to 2016 in both areas when we hit 84 in Pueblo and 80 degrees in the Springs. What about the coldest Halloween night? This was my very first year here in Southern Colorado. Also seeing snow that day with a low down to seven in the Springs, five below zero that night in Pueblo. And the snowiest Halloween on record, both areas seeing more than a foot of white snowfall out there back in 1972. No sign of any rain or snow out there on this Sunday afternoon. A really nice end to the weekend as expected. Yeah, we're a little bit cooler than yesterday, but still very comfortable fall like almost sweater weather here with upper 50s in the springs and lower 60s right now in the Pueblo area. We're still seeing a little bit of cloud cover from a weak disturbance trying to move across parts of the Centennial State, but really hard price to get any sort of moisture from this system. And I think we'll stay dry into the overnight hours and for the start of the day on Monday. In fact, a little bit of cloud cover we've seen today Poof, it's gone for Halloween. I think we see nothing but sunshine across the region. Maybe a few clouds across the eastern counties, but you can see out in the mountain areas, the urban corridor, we are expecting those bright blue skies and some very pleasant temperatures. To so make our way towards Tuesday, we start to shift our focus back to the west. This digging trough of low pressure I talked about last night at 9 o'clock is going to send some very gusty winds into the region and some heavy mountain snow by Wednesday evening. So we'll look for higher wind speeds here in southern Colorado. Colorado, the potential for high fire danger from Tuesday to Wednesday. Eventually this low is going to move through the region, but I think it stays pretty far south, almost relatable with what we saw last week, which means the mountain areas favored with the best chances for moisture. As for the plains, a little tough to tell at this point, but not looking like a big impact storm at all. Overnight lows tonight down to the teens and 20s in the mountains, 20s and 30s for the plains. Highs tomorrow are going to be a few degrees warmer than today, 64 in the springs, up near 70 in Pueblo and 55 the daytime high in Woodland Park. Here's a look at the super seven day forecast and it will be a super end to the month of October. Looking good out there for that trick or treating weather as well. Again, hardly needing an extra layer this year, especially if the kids are out early for the maybe teenagers by around 9 10 o'clock. We should be back down to the 40s. So windy in the middle of the week and then again the chance for maybe a mixture of rain changing to snow Thursday night, possibly a few flurries Friday. But again, that all depends on the track of the low and that is still a little too far out to fine tune or nail down that forecast for Pueblo. We've got the windy warm stuff Tuesday to Wednesday, then the potential for some cooler unsettled changes late in the week. Canyon City, I've got us dry and mild on Halloween, low 70s for your Tuesday to Wednesday and then down to the low 50s by Friday morning. You can see for Woodland Park here looking good on Halloween, even warmer on Tuesday with some downslope winds and then the potential for snow and some gusty winds as we head towards the end of the week.